The Department of Science and Technology, or DOST, has launched the Hybrid Electric Road Train. Mon Hoxon tells us why. The Department of Science and Technology has launched a solution to the worsening mass transport system. The hybrid road train is a series of five coaches with a length of 40 meters, which can accommodate a maximum of 240 passengers. Compared to the MRT and LRT, which use electric lines, the hybrid road train uses a hybrid engine that has a maximum speed of 50 km per hour and runs on either diesel fuel or electric batteries. The hybrid road train is also earth-friendly because it produces less smoke emissions. Aside from the generator, the battery of the hybrid road train charges every time the driver steps on the brakes. It is also flood-proof because the engine is positioned at the upper part of the train. The coaches are air-conditioned and spacious. Materials used in the hybrid road train are locally made and fabricated by Filipino engineers. The science department want to endorse the project to solve problems of commuters in Metro Manila. Marami ang nag-participate sa bidding. It's government, ano yan eh, di ba? So may bidding yan, dumaan sa bidding process. Marami nag-participate para mag-bid sa motor. It's just a sign na hindi tayo mawawala ng supply niyan dito kung sakaling i-adapt yan for commercialization. The project started in 2012 and it has taken three years for the hybrid road train to be completed. The developmental project of the hybrid road train costs 45 million. The technology can be bought and manufactured by any interested investor. The hybrid road train is designed to run in urban areas that need an effective mass transport system like EDSA. However, it will need a dedicated lane or a priority lane for it to run faster and smoother on EDSA and other major thoroughfares in Metro Manila. Given a one lane, let's say lang, one lane, this can service much, much more than the present system. The science department said they will need the help of the transportation department and local government units so that the hybrid road train can operate in EDSA. Meanwhile, the OST will test run the hybrid road train in Cebu this coming August for the planned adaptation with the bus rapid transit system. Mon Hoxon reporting for Y News.